Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and honored members of the class of 2020. My name is Jeffrey Coker. As Vice President for Academic Affairs and Enrollment and Dean of the College, it is my great pleasure to welcome you today for an unusual event. Our campus has obviously been closed since mid-March because of the pandemic. Therefore, our students, faculty, and staff cannot assemble yet for a traditional commencement. Today, we will go ahead and confer degrees upon those students who have completed requirements to graduate from Westminster College. And we will hold a formal commencement ceremony later in the year once conditions make that possible. We all wish we could be here together today, but that's okay. I do believe that Titans get stronger when times are just a little bit tougher. If anything, volatility and change in the world serves as a reminder of why graduating such a talented and hardworking group is important. I do believe that the world needs Westminster graduates, and so today is truly a joyous day as we commemorate the completion of work by the class of 2020. At this time, I would like to invite Reverend James Moore, college chaplain, to offer the invocation. Greetings, Westminster family. When you arrived on campus four or five years ago, we gathered down in Orr Auditorium for the opening convocation. And as part of that time together, we prayed asking God to bless you, to keep you safe during your time on campus, and to help you discover the joy of learning. And now here we are gathered in the chapel, and again we turn to God, asking for God to bless our gathering today, to bless you wherever you are, and to bless you as you leave this community and head out into the world. Won't you join me in prayer? Oh God, you are the author of wisdom. You have led us here to confer degrees upon the graduating class of 2020. And our hearts are full of thanksgiving and sadness. We thank you, God, of all ages and places. For this place, Westminster College, is a place where young gather, where truth is sought, found, and perhaps shared. Where concerts and recitals are performed, Research is done and then presented. Travel is encouraged. Athletes compete on the field, in the pool, on the pitch, and at the golf course. Thank you, Lord, for the experiences and wonderful memories that we hold in our hearts. We thank you for conversations that took place before we arrived on campus as first-year students for the cherished memories that have developed during our time here, words of encouragement, private conversations, and shared hopes, for fun-filled homecomings and volley rock weekends, for the commitment to service that occurs during Greek Week or Habitat for Humanity. We thank you, Lord, for lifelong friendships that have developed. And we thank you for professors, coaches, work-study supervisors, food service caregivers, staff, administrators, the board of trustees, and all others who have encouraged and mentored the class of 2020, challenging them to do and be their best, both in and outside of the classroom. We are grateful for teaching that took place face-to-face and then during the past few weeks as we took online courses. We thank you for words of encouragement, challenge, and grace given. For those moments in this journey when in the daily pursuit of grades, love, and paychecks, we happened upon truth that left us stunned by wow moments and visions of beauty and power, we thank you, Lord. Lord, we so look forward to the day when we can walk the hallowed grounds of campus one more time and take in its beauty and majesty. But our hearts this day are filled with mixed emotions. We find ourselves filled with sadness that we cannot be together in person to celebrate this day, that family members and friends have been lost during our time here and they cannot be here with us anymore. 
for an era that has ended, for things left undone and unsaid, for the inability to say goodbye in person and not being able to celebrate together the walk across Weissel Senior Terrace. Bless this class, O oh God, with your wisdom, that they may be, filled, may be lifted above their sorrow and fears of uncertainty as they move into new adventures. Bless this class, their families, our nation, and the world with health and wholeness. Keep us safe. Help us deliver, discover new ways to fight the fears that surround us and allow life to return to whatever the new normal will be after this pandemic is over. And now, Lord, enliven our hearts with joy. Keep our minds from wandering and help us to be fully present with you and with one another that we might know, even as we celebrate at home with private moments of applause, shouts, and whistles, that you are with us for the journey. Lord, this is a great day to be a Titan. May God's name be praised. Amen. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce to you Dr. Kathy Britton Richardson, President of Westminster College. Thank you, Dr. Coker, and thank you, Chaplain Moore. Congratulations, members of the class of 2020. You can truthfully say that your final term at Westminster has been unlike that ever experienced by another class here in the college's almost 170-year history. And you have persevered with courage, determination, and commitment to achieve what we're here today to celebrate, the completion of your courses of study here at Mother Fair. Even as we look forward to gathering together for a formal commencement celebration in person when we're legally allowed to do so, today we are so proud to gather together virtually to commemorate your achievements. You know, many of you who will have degrees conferred here today began your Westminster journey back in the fall of 2016 as I was beginning my first term here serving as your president. So I've had the wonderful privilege of watching you progress uh, and all your achievements over these years. You've worked hard in class and in your on and off campus jobs. You've presented important research or performed at regional and national conferences. You have competed in all types of games and won a number of conference championships. You have raised thousands of dollars for charities and you have offered countless hours of service both here locally, regionally, and nationally. From your first year inquiry course, through your capstone experiences, you have given your intelligence, dedication, collaboration, and commitment to achieving the critical learning outcomes that characterize a strong, comprehensive liberal arts education. To those of you who have completed your master's degree, Congratulations on your commitment to continued learning and professional preparation. Your work as professional educators and leaders will positively influence the lives of your students, their families, and your colleagues for years to come. Graduates, we look forward with confidence to the successes that lie before you. You are ready. You are prepared. And to all of you, undergraduate and graduate students. Know that despite the challenges you have faced, you have not faltered. You have indeed stood tight and strong, and today we celebrate you. Dr. Coker. President Richardson, as Dean of the College, I have the honor of presenting to you those students who have completed their prescribed work for the Bachelor of Arts degree who have been recommended by the faculty and who have been approved by the Board of Trustees for this degree. We invite those students who are watching this event remotely to stand at this time. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Westminster College and in accordance with the laws of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I hereby confer upon each of you the degree Bachelor of Arts with all its rights, 
privileges, and responsibilities thereto pertaining. Congratulations. President Richardson, I now have the honor of presenting to you those students who have completed their prescribed work for the Bachelor of Music degree, who have been recommended by the faculty and who have been approved by the Board of Trustees for this degree. We invite those students who are watching this event remotely to stand at this time. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Westminster College and in accordance with the laws of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I hereby confer upon each of you the degree Bachelor of Music with all its rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto pertaining. Congratulations. President Richardson, I now have the honor of presenting to you those students who have completed their prescribed work for the Bachelor of Science degree, who have been recommended by the faculty and who have been approved by the Board of Trustees for this degree. We invite those students who are watching this event remotely to stand at this time. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Westminster College and in accordance with the laws of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I hereby confer upon each of you the degree Bachelor of Science with all its rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto pertaining. Congratulations. Now I would invite each of you as a symbol of your accomplishment, all recipients of a baccalaureate degree who are wearing their regalia at home may now shift your tassels from right to left. Congratulations. President Richardson, I now have the honor of presenting to you those students who have completed their prescribed work for the Master of Education degree, who have been recommended by the faculty and who have been approved by the Board of Trustees for this degree. We invite those students who are watching this event remotely to stand at this time. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Westminster College and in accordance with the laws of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I hereby confer upon each of you the degree Master of Education with all its rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto pertaining. Congratulations. Graduates, becoming an alumna or alumnus from Westminster sets you apart. It tells others the sort of person you have become, the characteristics, competencies, and commitments you have embraced, and the preparation you have received. As you have seen this term, even when we are physically separated, we are still a part of the Westminster community. And you will indeed always be a member of this community, which stretches across this country and indeed around the world a community that represents the best of humankind as our alumni live with a commitment to integrity, citizenship, and service. You help comprise the we in Westminster. Throughout the remainder of this day, I invite you to visit the Westminster Alumni Facebook page where you will find words of congratulation to you from our alumni, faculty, and staff. We hope that this will help you know how very proud we are of you and how much we look forward to offering you congratulations in person at a more traditional commencement later this year. On behalf of the trustees, faculty, administration, staff, and honored graduates of Westminster College, I want to thank each of you for joining us from your homes today. And I hope that this day brings you not only joy in the accomplishments of Westminster students, but also continued health. Later this summer, we will announce details of a more formal commencement ceremony in the fall. But for today, you are now graduates of Westminster College, and we are very, very proud of you. Congratulations. It is my pleasure to send us out into the world with these words of benediction. As you leave Westminster and you head out into the world, may passion inspire you. May injustice always trouble you. May hope confront you. 
May children teach you. May parents indwell in you. May mountains join you. And may angels protect you. May you sometimes get it right. May you laugh when you don't. May love surround you. May peace permeate you. May gratitude overwhelm you. And now these words from the Old Testament book of Numbers. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. And now go forth in the name of Christ. Amen.